Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to flash a light on drive uh, with, uh, with the newest firmware, Light Touch, which was just released last night, actually. Okay, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is just show you that the drive's not already uh, flashed. I'm just going to switch the TV or the Xbox channel. And uh, boot uh, a retail. Alright, so I'm just going to put in a retail on it. 3.06 play it and just show you how that loads okay it loads now I'm gonna put a backup in Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, just show you that it won't play yeah, I put it in wrong. Oh no, sorry. Okay. Okay, look, it won't play, so that means that the drive isn't flash. So I'm just going to take that out now. Put the retail back. And uh, turn the Xbox off. And uh, get the drive out of the Xbox. So obviously you want to open up the drive first. And uh, my one is a 74850 uh, revision drive model number. And I'm going to uh, hook it up to my PC. So I've got a CK3 Pro connectivity kit probe there and uh, that's what I need for this uh, model to uh, extract the key I need both those items okay so I'm just gonna uh, the connectivity kit is uh, already plugged in Monex USB so uh, I'm just gonna hook up to the drive now so uh, try and show Okay, so the SATA and the power to the drive are in. Now I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. So it's all hooked up now. Oh yeah, make sure uh, your, own, uh, your PC is on so you're like in Windows when you turn it on. Okay, and the uh, PC is just low. Alright, so uh, just loading. So once you're in Windows, first thing you want to do is go back to the connectivity kit, eject the tray. Okay, it's ejected. Turn it off. Push the tray halfway in, a bit more, doesn't really matter. Then turn it back on. Okay, this uh, puts the drive into vendor mode, so it will uh, show up in Windows. So now you're going to open a jungle flasher. Okay, once you're in, click the DVD key 32 tab at the top. Okay, first thing to make note of is the port. You, the port, mine, mine will be different to yours, but mine is DC00. You want to write this down, you should need it for later. And then the COM port as well. You don't need to write it down, but just make sure it's on the right one. My one is COM3, but yours could be COM1. Com three, com four. You'll know by uh, the drive. You see, that's the drive that's found it in Windows. If yours isn't on, like, if yours doesn't come up, it might be that it's a different port. So just uh, try other ports until you find it. And then, like, yeah, once you find it, that you know that's the port. That one is the port because it's found the drive. Okay. You want to uh, have your mouse. On a DVD key 32, then uh, I'll try to get. Yeah, then uh, leave it on the floor because you need to go back to the drive now. Okay, so you go back to the drive, flip it over, make sure you've taken the back case off, obviously. Then you want to go on the PCB and uh, 
find R2, R707, sorry. And uh, you want to put it in it, and it should, uh, like the little hole, and it should light up green. That means you found it. You want to hold that in. I've got to put it down because I can't do it at once, but you've got to hold the the probe in so it's flashing green in the 2707, sorry, R707. And then you want to click on the mouse, DVD key 32 at the same time. And this is what will happen. So I've clicked it and now it's just getting the, it's just saved the data. So like, as soon as it says the save dialog box, you can let go of the probe and uh, come back to the PC because it's done. Okay. Now you want to save all this in a folder. I'm just going to save it in uh, just my videos. Okay. So save, 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 save. Do this five times, hit no, uh, that's your drive key, very important, and back up all those files you just saved. Okay, now you want to you want to download uh, the new light touch firmware, which I have here, and you want to uh, have uh, the, firm the firmware which matches your drive, so mine's a 748. So I'll be using that one, so I've just dragged it on the desktop, uh, somewhere, oh yeah, there. Okay, now you want to load up Jungle Flasher, leave that as it is, the key you just extracted. Open target firmware, then you want to open that, the light touch, 748 file I just showed you earlier, and make sure, like I said, it matches the model number. If you're not sure, you can see uh, here as well. It says seven four eight. So I open the seven, LT light touch seven four eight, and then you see the drive key is seven 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 seven. Don't worry about that. You want a spoof source to target, and it copies your drive key over into the hacked firmware, so it's ready to be flashed. So like the firmware is written. You want to save the the firmware. The light underscore CFW. So save that somewhere. Okay, now that's saved, uh, you've got to erase the light on, the right on the light on now. Okay, to do that, I use uh, Jungle Flasher, always freezes on me. So uh, I, I erase it and write the hat firmware in DOS, which is a lot easier. It takes like two minutes, doesn't freeze, you know, it's a lot easier. What you need is you need, uh, ignore that file, that's from earlier. But you need these four files. I'll provide a link to download them. Okay, then on your desktop, I saved that hat firmware, which just I saved just a second ago. You want to put this onto a USB stick along with those four files. And make sure the USB stick is bootable. Okay, very important. So you've got those four files and the hat firmware. And then uh, you want to just shut the computer down now. So I'm just going to shut down. Okay, and uh, obviously turn the drive, close the tray, and just turn the drive off. And then just flip it back over. Because there's no need. Alright, I'm going to. Alright, what you want to do is you want to work out. Uh, I press F. You want to go into the boot select, like boot device. So you can choose which device to boot. So on mine, I just keep pressing like, wait till it starts up.